Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. I am randomly looking on Amazon constantly. I don't really know what for, I just kind of peruse through there at my leisure and try and find random weird things to make stuff with. And somehow I stumbled down the like paper craft area and I found these like masks made out of like cardstock and I didn't really know what I was going to do with it when I bought it, but it showed up, I pieced it together, and then it sat over in the corner of my build room and just kind of collected dust for a while. So I think I'm, I'm going to try and make something with it, maybe just harden it with some resin and then add some stuff to it to make it weird. So let's make something weird with a wolf papercraft thingy. Let's get to building. I ordered this werewolf paper craft off of Amazon. I'll link it in my affiliates page. Started by carefully pulling off the perforated parts from the pages and following the instructions, folded it the proper direction and super glued each individual part. Pay attention because some of the parts are mirrored and you don't want to fold them the wrong direction. I don't know if it was intended, but the werewolf looks like the start crest from Game of Thrones to me. Once I had all the individual parts, I had to attach them together. So with the pictures provided, I put the parts together to form the base of my wolf. I actually did this about three months ago and it just has been assembled in the corner of my workspace staring at me every day when I walk in. I have projects like that from time to time where I lose interest in the middle of it and I just kind of set it to the side. Eventually I pick them back up and finish them off. I've never done any Pepicura paper craft type stuff before and I really wanted to make this a solid piece. Right now it's pretty flimsy. So I thought I would put on a thin layer of XTC resin I have to kind of harden the outside. It's technically for 3D prints but I've used it before to harden EVA so I thought why not try it with paper. Mix it together a two part A to one part B and brush it on. I put two coats on the outside to stabilize the shape.
So now that it's stabilized, time to reinforce the inside. I didn't really know what to use once again, so I just used some Smoothcast 300 that I had on hand. Let me know in the comments below what you use to solidify your Pepecura with. I'm just kind of making it up as I go and maybe I'm doing it right, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I figured maybe fiberglass or something like that. This resin seems to work good though. I plugged up the holes and slushed in four coats on the inside and then brushed on two coats on the outside. I did a rough sanding over all my surfaces and decided to give my wolf a little cyber flare. So diving into my Evil Ted Cosmold castings, I found a few that I think will do the job. Sand the back of them and super glue them into place. I keep it as close to symmetrical as I can by eye and then just space out the parts. Of course, if I'm going to make this a cyberpunk style, I need to put EL wires in it. So I go ahead and drill some holes to poke it through before I paint. I ended up adding a lot more once I logically thought out how it was gonna be strung around all of the shapes. I threw down two coats of black spray paint for the base color. I kind of liked it black, so I thought that I would make the pieces stand out just a little by adding some silver wax paint on the ridges. The EL will sit in the valleys, and I thought it would be a good contrast between the two and keep it from just kind of blending all together as one big black blob of stuff. So I painted on scratches and also used my finger to rub on the edges. Now time for wiring. I love EL wire with these battery packs on them. I buy them in bulk on Amazon and I find projects to incorporate them into all the time. When you have strung up all that you want, you just snip off the excess and plug up the tip. They make a high pitched noise while on, but other than that, they're pretty awesome.
I did this on my rusty dummy build also. I glued in some gems onto the nodes on the top of his head. This also keeps me from having to try and paint inside on that sphere, so it's kind of the easy way out. Just hot glue them into place. found a spool of this wire at my local home improvement store and decided to use them for a random extra detail. I super glued it onto the speaker side because it was a snug fit. Then I hot glued it onto the prong that's on the ear because the holes were a little bit bigger and I needed to fill that gap. I thought it needed just a little bit more detail so I bought some faucet connector hoses and inserted them into the holes that for some reason were in the design on the wolf. Maybe breathing or something, I don't know. The hot glue didn't really do anything so I just drilled in a couple of holes and zip tied it onto place. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, pretty pleased with the way it turned out. Uh, there are a few things that could be done differently or better. Or I'm sure that you guys probably know of better materials, resins, uh, maybe even fiberglass or something to harden it, and it would be a little simpler. But I worked with the materials that I had. I experimented a little, and it ended up making it pretty pretty sturdy so i think it looks pretty cool maybe you will try and experiment yourself with random found things on an amazon binge watch through search through get lost in and spend too much money through maybe you'll get some yay and inevitably they're gonna ask you how'd you make that you can give them one of these tell them much props. Alexa, turn studio lights off. Okay. Um. Uh.